Hello guys and welcome back in another requested video from this cool guy with his name is Zachary Moore or something like this Z A C H A R Y M O R E weird username but a cool request which is an NA for four cylinder 10,000 RPM engine okay so to make a a fuel efficient 10,000 RPM inline 4 engine naturally aspirated is not a simple job, but yes, it's doable. So let's start with an aluminium block and let's see the perfect size or to make engine rev to 10,000 RPM, stroke should be really, really little. So let's stick to 1 liter or 1000 cc dual overhead camshaft with four valves per cylinder and aluminium cylinder head with VVL build steel crank, titanium lightweight connecting rods maybe I will use lightweight forged but okay let's start with lightweight forged lightweight forged pistons also plus 10 since this engine is gonna be an NA engine so I'm gonna aim for the highest compression ratio alright 11.0 to 1 20 or 15 cam profile with 65 VVT for all cams plus 10 again not sure they aspirated with direct injection and a throttle per cylinder with a performance carbon fiber intake manifold I'm gonna use 98 octane and 13.7 let's start with 40 and hope for 10,000 plus 10 again long tubular with let's say 200 high flow straight through straight through and plus 10 again so yes this engine can rev higher than 10,000 rpm which is awesome let's Let's make the VVL profile a bit aggressive. Make it make it as fuel efficient as possible. Right. Okay. 24 and 88. Let's say more ignition timing. Right, 92 is, is good. The exhaust size is all right. Now it's correct. Let's go for plus 15 everything. So this engine will be perfect in every way. All right, we are getting somewhere. 132. All right. If I put it on 100, I'm gonna I'm gonna have 26 fuel efficiency. All right, 26.2. Perfect. Ignition timing. Uh, let's add more ignition timing. Oh, we will lose horsepower. So no. That's better in every way. Right, next step, which is compression ratio. The more compression ratio, the more fuel efficiency and the more horsepower you'll make. 12.6 to 1, it's perfect. The engine is getting perfect by the minute, so we have 27.3 fuel efficiency with a high reliability because everything at, at 15 plus. Ho oh, ho! There's a big error in the game. It's because they, they just released the update, and as you can see, look look at the error in the vacuum and the boost gauge. Really? Oh. 
Wow, what a shame. Now, everything is working perfectly, but let's say how how big we can make this engine so we can you know make more power and still making and still revving to 10,000 so the first thing we, we need to do is decreasing decreasing the ignition timing a little bit so we can have a range of octane to burn let's see how big we can go as you can see, the bigger we go, the more efficient we get. So yes. Right, 200 horsepower for a one and a half liter engine. Awesome. Now let's see if... No. That's just perfect like that and all right so 200 horsepower I mean yes I can make the exhaust the exhaust more uh, bigger so I can make more power but I'm gonna lose fuel efficiency right so the next step Let's use a hundred octane. No, no, no. Using a hundred octane is just not necessary. So I think let's decrease the compression ratio to twelve point oh to one. That's still high, but at least we can run just that way. And let's increase the size. I want a 1.6 liter engine. Yeah, like that. All right. So now we have a 1.6 and 1.6 liter. And let's see the exhaust. So if you want to make more power, you will lose fuel efficiency. So no, that's not our goal here. I mean, yes, let's use a racing tubular header. And we can gain more fuel efficiency and we can gain more horsepower also. As you can see, the CAM profile is at, or the VVL profile is at full capacity. And see if we can make it a little bit better in the fuel efficiency range, but no. 11 is the perfect fuel efficiency one. Uh, let's see, uh, more, more compression ratio. Yes, 12.2 to 1, which now we have 212 horsepower, my friends. Which is really, really awesome, with 28.2. Uh, what do you call it? The fuel efficiency. Imagine this engine, a, a 1.6 liter engine, this the same, this one, in the Prius. I mean, yes, maybe the Prius is more has more fuel efficiency. Maybe I think I don't know how much, but for 10,000 RPM, for 10,000 RPM, I think this is. And uh, remember, this is a natural aspirated engine. If this engine were a turbocharged engine, I. Uh, I think we can make you know make it more uh, fuel efficient but of course with the with lower compression ratio because a turbocharged engine with 12.2 to 1 compression ratio oh my god it will explode so let's hear this beast again don't look at here because this is a freaking game error
Why? Let's let's add more strokes to the engine. I mean, we can still rev to to ten thousand RPM. Come on. So near nearly one point seven liters. Right now we have a more head, more headroom. All right, go, go, go! More stroke, more stroke. We still have range. Yep. So 1.8 liters, which is perfect. 229 horsepower, 151 pound-feet of torque. And now with with better fuel efficiency, twenty eight point seven. Hmm. I mean, look, we can make two hundred and forty two horsepower, and maybe two hundred, also two sixty horsepower, two sixty five. But we will lose fuel efficiency. I want more fuel efficiency, and two hundred and twenty nine horsepower from a from a one point eight liter engine is amazing. But I want fuel efficiency. That, that's the goal here. Hmm. Yes, now that's perfect. Um, I think there is a freaking error in the game. Uh, the, how can I open the, open the engine? Because there used to be here some buttons you can press them to, so you can disassemble the engine and see what's inside it. Why the hell did they disable it? Yes, there used to be uh, buttons here so you can take off the heads and everything so you can see the pistons dancing up and up and down but what is it I did, I did not disable anything I did not change the options really we sync on all right infinite update now I haven't looked here if I change the mufflers no. mm. why the hell the engine will knock if I put a reverse flow muffler Wow, look at the fuel efficiency! 29.1 29.4 But we lost horsepower The exhaust now is freaking restricting Alright, so 200 horsepower again but now we have 229 fuel efficiency and the engine now will run quieter alright how about this one no actually the engine will run will have more fuel efficiency if you use a performance intake system let's hear this engine now with the quiet you know mufflers yes the engine is still you know, noisy because of the intake. I mean, it's 29 also, 29 points, not 60 points. I mean, usually the 60 point is the loudest point of, of any racing engine, but it's 29. So I think the intake is producing this noise. The exhaust is freaking, what do I call it, silent. 
I mean, this is really making me sad. I mean, the, the whole point of buying an automation game is to see what's inside the engine. And now, they have disabled the buttons here, so, so you have to go deep like that. I mean, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. So that's the request guys which is a 10,000 RPM 10,000 RPM uh, what do you call it fuel eco 4 cylinder engine I mean yes we had fun it's fun to make a, an economy power performance engine which we did here I mean I wish we can make it more you know more more fuel efficient more fuel efficient on to have more horsepower but if I made the exhaust, the exhaust system a little bit bigger we will lose fuel efficiency though so 200 horsepower from 1.8 liter inline 4 engine is perfect I'm gonna call it fully on now the, the second thing that I need to do here I think why the hell am I using a billet steel one Forged. I mean, look, low friction cost will will make us gain more fuel efficiency, but it will only rev up to 8,300. And I don't want to make this engine smaller, so yeah. A light was forged. Heavy duty forged. Yeah. yeah, everything is forged, you know. Yes, that did that. Yes, okay. So, forged steel, heavy duty forged, and lightweight forged. Let's stick with lightweight. So, 10,900, 10,600, and 10,900 RPM. So the engine can rev higher than this, but now the engine is a little bit, a little bit cheaper because billet steel and titanium are freaking expensive. So now it's better than before. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And stay tuned because I'm going to post more videos tonight. So thank you so much. I will see you in another video. And uh, bye bye.